item SCP-5140. Object class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Due to the exorbitant cost and difficulty in safely extracting SCP-5140 instances from Mount Everest, MTF Delta-14 Winter Wonderland will periodically ascend Everest to bury any SCP-5140 instances in the snow. Campaigns are underway to tighten restrictions for climbing permits for Mount Everest on both the Nepalese and Tibetan sides. Description SCP-514 refers to a number of frozen corpses scattered across Mount Everest, located in the Himalayas of Tibet. The number of SCP-514 instances is unclear, but accepted to be over 100 and below 200 at the time of writing. SCP-514 instances are ectoentropic, when physically exposed to heat of any form, including body heat, they will absorb it without raising their temperature, which rests approximately 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This process usually renders physical contact with SCP-5140 instances fatal. If an individual dies as a result of contact with SCP-5140 instances, their corpse will become another SCP-5140 instance. Mission Record, 11th of December, 2015 Status update. Approaching the summit, we encountered 34 bodies across Chinese routes. Buried all. Provision steady, likely to reach summit tomorrow. Acknowledged. Continue. Encountering minor anomalies on instances, exceptionally low temps result in muscle contraction post-mortem. Bodies curled up and frozen, hard to pry open before burial. Might have to bury them like that. Acknowledged. Permission granted. Bury of convenience. Approaching summits. Abnormally high numbers of instances Encountered 19 since yesterday. Old instances being unburied? Likely strong winds blowing off snow. And buried deeper if possible. I approached Hillary Step this morning. We'll ascend to summit in an hour or two. 40 more bodies since last contact. Team unnerved. Understandable. Almost there now. Discovered lone body on summit, attempted to bury, shovel hit something, stuck, can't pull it out. Turned around, body was gone. Fell off the summit? I don't know. Team is rattled, please advise. Acknowledged. Sending out survey teams, uh, attempting to see if something was seen falling from summit. Uh, use spare shovel if more bodies are encountered. Orders are to descend from Chinese routes using already cleared path. Godspeed. Descended step, Patrick touched one. Me and Arnold buried him. That's acknowledged. Emergency, attempting to descend Chinese routes, discover camp remains torn apart. Three instances curled up in tents. Instances were moving. Hurried descent. That's acknowledged. Get down safely, we'll move forward from there. Personnel are ready to receive you at Camp V. Stay safe. Mass of them blocking the path. One reached out of the ground and grabbed Arnold. He's one of them. I ran back up, can't go down, can't go up. Arnold was carrying provisions. Only have one can of oxygen left. Help us. Attempt to use flare gun to clear path. Stay at a safe distance. Team is already en route to extract you. Stay calm, minimize They're breathing. moving! Don't come to the summit, it's not safe. Ground isn't safe. Don't let climbers on Everest, the mountain is dead.
A rescue detachment of NTF Delta 14 arrived at Charlie Smith's GPS tracker in an hour and 36 minutes later. They cited no unburied SCP-5140 instances on their approach. Smith's body was discovered, lacking the signs of typical SCP-5140 instance. Autopsy indicates he died from exposure and suffocation due to inadequate oxygen intake. Further investigation indicated his oxygen intake valve was damaged during the ascent to the summit. Bodies of Arnold Hillary and Patrick Edmund were discovered higher up Everest. Hillary died from exposure, while Edmund was found to be an SCP-5140 instance. It is currently believed that Smith's inadequate oxygen led to him hallucinating SCP-5140 instances, blocking their path and destroying their campsite. Hillary's foot was also found wedged into a rockfall, likely the source of his immobility. This incident has been taken into account and supply manifests for future expeditions adjusting accordingly. Addendum, file update, the 25th of April, 2024. Event summary, increased global temperatures have resulted in significant thawing of ice sheets and snow drifts on Everest. Such thawing caused a large avalanche at 11.49 local time, which moved a large amount of snow off the summit. Lower depth of snow allowed scanning planes to identify significant amounts of SCP-5140 instances below the snow. Further excavation revealed SCP-5140 instances form a significant portion of Everest itself. As of writing, it is estimated that 45% of mountain everest's mass is formed by corpses <laughs> <laughs>